Hey everybody, it's Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Long day could be ahead today here. We've been talking about this day for a little bit on the channel here. So we're finally reaching that point where we are at Friday here. We've been talking about this slight risk for a bit. Been saying that this could have the potential for a pretty gnarly day. Right now we're still at a slight risk for it, but there are some signals here to or it's where trouble might be on the way. So we need to be staying weather aware over here across this entire region that's in the yellow here. Even in this area in the green, we need to stay weather aware, but especially in this yellow area. We do have a threat for all hazards in play here. Tornadoes, wind, and hail alike. Same thing exists even going into tomorrow where we have a pretty similar look here. Hail threat diminishes slightly, but the wind and tornado threat is still there. You have that 5% area and there could be potential for even upgrades here especially for today's outlook i would say maybe somewhere towards this region here we might have to be on the lookout for increased tornadic activity i would say but we'll get into the details of that real quick so this is what our current storm system is looking like right now this is what we're dealing with at the moment we fast forwarded a little too far ahead but if we end up looking at this current time here, this is right about where we are now, just before, just a little bit before lunchtime. And you can see that we're gonna have storms firing over towards this region. Plenty of wind shear over this area in both the mid to upper levels and the lower levels as well. And this is gonna persist throughout the afternoon and into the evening here. So like I said, towards Southern Mississippi, South Central and Central Alabama, uh, central Louisiana and central and southern Alabama as well as we go through the day I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe an increased threat for wind and tornadoes over here I think the hail threat's going to stay a little further off to the west for you guys and then as we go through the day tomorrow we're going to see a similar look I think storms are likely to fire a little bit earlier in the day by the time we get later into the afternoon this should be on its way out from Georgia eventually we'll be paying more attention towards the carolinas by the time we get into the evening the storm should be out of there too and sunday will bring much better weather albeit maybe some cooler weather and some more blustery weather so some things that we're going to make note of and this is going to be more so honing in on today's setup from this point is you can see the moisture return here especially further off to the south here but what's really caught my eye here and we can go back towards the current picture of the radar right now see this little confluence area over here we're still seeing uh, moisture being fed into that region here as we go into the afternoon you can see that moisture almost being sucked up right here and then pulled back in towards this region here where there's a lot of swirl i do think that that could play a part in aiding in increased storm and maybe even tornadic development as we go through the day here instability map or the cape map kind of also reacts to that as well and then you see a similar thing potentially happening as we go through the day tomorrow further towards let's say south georgia and heading towards the eastern part of south carolina as we go forward so like i said i have i have increased interest in these areas as we go through the uh, next 12 to 24 maybe even 36 hours but Here's a great example of that cape being pulled in right there. You can see that really impressive cape here of 2,000 joules per kilogram across the region. Click on a sounding for that and look at the results that we get. We have a pretty solid looking uh, skew T and a really solid looking hodiograph as well. This definitely checks out as something that you do not want to take chances with. For sure so as we continue to go forward here cape kind of drops off but look what happens as we go through the morning and into the afternoon across south georgia and then eventually heading into the carolinas we get some of that cape coming right back here if the atmosphere recovers any further or if any daytime heating comes in forbid that we could have a gnarly day on our hands potentially on saturday as well we will be going live both days so we'll be uh, covering the weather here live as it's going on but some things to make note of here is the tornado parameter here the significant tornado parameter while it's not 
guaranteeing that there's going to be tornadoes here. These values have definitely jumped up notably since yesterday when we last talked about it. Like I said, right after lunchtime seems to be the peak time and storms are expected to be in this area. So, like I said, I have increased interest in this area. Here's another sounding that we're going to take a look at here and you can see that things are looking awfully dangerous here from the looks of it. And there's certain things that I'm seeing here that I'll get into more so in the members video for those of you who are more interested in the uh, really nerdy stuff here when it comes to weather that are very alarming to me here. So like I said, I do think that there is a chance that maybe if things play out as they're being displayed on this model here, we could have some strong tornadoes in play. If we check out tomorrow, we do see some numbers return here, but still not quite as impressive as what I saw yesterday. So we've seen a little downtrend with tomorrow, which is not surprising. Today, however, we've seen an uptrend. So like I said, make sure you're staying weather aware in any of the areas in regards to the severe weather threat for today or tomorrow. Like I said, we'll be going live and we'll be helping to keep you weather aware here on the channel. So make sure you have that bell on. So last but not least, we'll go ahead and look at the timing for all these storms. And you can, like I said, you can already see the storms popping up here by the time we get in the lunchtime. And like I said, it's really this corridor right here that I'm watching, going to be watching really close, especially as we're going live this afternoon. You'll see storms pop up here as we go later into the afternoon. And then eventually you'll see this race off to the east as a, as a, uh, as a uh, QLC as possibly it looks like tries to develop and eventually it morphs into an MCS. What happens then is we see some redevelopment here as we head into the morning hours of Saturday, then some redevelopment over here further to the south where we could even see some discrete supercells once again. By the time we get towards lunchtime, then we'll be watching towards the Carolinas. By the time, of course, we get into the evening though, thankfully these storms will be on their way out at this point. So just got to get through today and then we'll be watching the early part of tomorrow. Like I said, we'll be live both times. So make sure you're tuned in, especially if you're in one of the areas of interest. But that being said, just a quick update as to what we have going on. I'll see you guys this afternoon. Till then, take care. See you soon. It's Ty Metalhead Weatherman. Have an awesome rest of your day unless you're tuning in later. See you then.